Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're still trying to convert a fraction to a percent, but how do you do that when the denominator is not equal to 100 and the denominator does not evenly fit into 100 nicely? For example, 40 does not fit evenly into 100. How do you deal with that? The thing to do here is simply divide the numerator by the denominator and turn the fraction into a decimal first, and then once you have a decimal, you can then easily turn into a percent. So let's go ahead and try that with our first example. We take the number 3 and we divide it by 40. Well, first of all, 40 does not go into 3, so we put a 0 there, and we then put a decimal place here and add a 0. If we put a decimal place there, we must put a decimal place there as well. Now, does 40 fit into 30? It still doesn't fit into 30, so we put a 0 there and we add another 0. Now, 40 goes into 300, it does 7 times. 7 times 40 is 280, subtract that from 300, we get 20. How did we do that? Well, 7 times 40 is like 7 times 4 and add a 0. 7 times 4 is 28, add a 0, you get 280. Now we add another 0, we must carry that 0 down here. 40 goes into 200 exactly 5 times, because 5 times 40 is 200 remainder is 0, which means that 3 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.075. Now that we've turned our fraction into a decimal, now we use the technique we learned before to turn it into a percent by moving the decimal place over two spots, 1, 2, and therefore we can say that this is equal to 7.5%. Okay, let's try the same with 12 divided by 75. 12 divided by 75, well, 75 does not go into 12, we'll put a zero there, now we must put a decimal place there and a decimal place there. We add a zero. 75 goes to 120, one time, one times 75 is 75, the remainder is 45. We add a zero here, we drop the zero down here, 75 goes into 450, it looks like exactly six times, 6 times 7 is 4, 42, that's 420, 6 times 5 is 30, 420 plus 30 is 450, so it fits exactly, and the remainder is 0, which means that 12 divided by 75 can be written as the decimal 0 0.16. Now that we have a decimal, we can turn into a percent by simply moving the decimal spot over two places, this is therefore equal to 16%. All right, 5 divided by 8, same thing. We take 5 and we divide it by 8. 8 goes into 5 0 times. Put a decimal place there, put a decimal place there, and a 0. 8 goes into 50. Uh, that looks like 6 times because 6 times 8 is 48. Remainder is 2. Add a 0. 8 goes into 20. 2 times, 2 times 8 is 16. Remainder is 4. Drop down another 0, 8 goes into 40 five times, which means 5 divided by 8 can be written as the decimal 0 0.625. And now that once it's written as a decimal, we can turn it into a percentage by moving the decimal place over two spots, and this is therefore equal to 62.5%. And finally, we have something a little different here. 6 divided by 30, or 6 30th, what is that in a percent? The technique is the same. We take the numerator, 6, and divide it by the denominator, 30. 30 goes into 6, 0 times. Decimal place there, decimal place there. Then we add a 0. 30 goes into 60, ooh, 2 times. Well, it wasn't as hard as I thought, because we can now see that 6 divided by 30 can be written as 0 0.2, which means to turn into a percent, all we have to do is change move the decimal place over two spots, put a zero there, so we can see that this is equal to 20%. Six over 30 is the same as one-fifth, it's the same as 20%. Well, there's something else we could do with these types of examples, if you can see it. Notice that when I look at the number 40, that tells me that 40 goes into 100 exactly two and a half times, because 40 times two and a half is equal to 100. So we could potentially do it as follows. 3 divided by 40 
could be written as 3 divided by 40. And if I multiply the denominator times 2.5, and I multiply the numerator times 2.5, I can now write that as a fraction. 40 times 2.5 is equal to 100. 2.5 times 3 is equal to 7.5. And then we can use the technique that any fraction that's written with a 100 as a denominator, we can simply take the numerator and put a percent sign next to it. Thus, 7.5 divided by 100, which is the same as 3 divided by 40, is 7.5%, which is what we got over here. Hmm. 75 fits into 100? No, not evenly, but I know that 75 is 3 quarters of 100. If I multiply... 75 times 4 thirds, I make it into 100. Therefore, if I multiply 12 times 4 thirds, I can get a fraction where the denominator is 100. Let's try it over here. 12 divided by 75, I know that 75 is equal to 3 quarters of 100. Therefore, if I multiply 75 by the inverse, I'll turn it to 100. I multiply the numerator by the inverse also, because I need to do the same thing to the denominator as I do to the numerator. So 75 and 12, I'm going to multiply the denominator times 4 thirds, because I know that that's what will make it into 100, and of course I must do the same with the numerator. Okay, if I do that, notice that the denominator, 3 goes into 75 25 times, times 4 is 100. 3 goes into 12 4 times, 4 times 4 is 16. This turns this fraction into a fraction with a 100 as a denominator. All I have to do now is grab my numerator and put a percent sign next to it. Thus, 16 over 100, which is the same as 12 over 75, is the same as 16%. So you can see that you don't always have to take your fraction and do a longhand division to turn into a decimal with a little trick like this, have the inside that 75 can be made into 100 and 40 can be made into 100 by multiplying times a number like 2.5 here or 4 thirds over there. So you can see that technique works as well.